Here we're going to look at an income statement for a merchandising company. That is a company that's selling goods rather than manufacturing them. Yeah, for example, some retailed, retail outlets and not selling to the public. So the first thing we want to do here is look at the revenue section. What's producing revenue for us. So we take our sales for the period, then we subtract out the sales discounts and subtract the sales return and allowances. So we come up with a total amount there and then we subtract that from sales for the period and it gives us the net sales. So if we go over here and look at just a review of that in a little chart, we got our sales and subtract out the sales discounts, the sale return and allowances, subtract them from the sales and we get net sales for the period. So let's go here and look at the next section, cost of goods sold. So we have a beginning inventory, that was what was held over from previous year. We add the purchases we made for the period plus the freight in for those purchases. We come up with amount, an amount for that. Then we subtract the purchase discounts and the purchase return and allowances come up with a total there and we subtract that amount from the purchases we've made we come up with our net purchases. Now we add in those net purchases to the beginning inventory to come up with what we'd have as goods available for sale. So that's our total goods there we have available for sale. Then we take and subtract out our ending inventory and by subtracting that from goods available for sale we get cost of goods sold. So knowing the cost of goods sold we subtract that from the net sales up here and we get the gross profit. So let's just look at some of these items here in a little summary table. So here for the net purchases we add the purchases for the period plus the freight in for those purchases. Get that total. Then we subtract out the purchase discounts, the purchase return allowance, we get that total. We subtract that from our purchases here and we come up with the net purchases. So there's where our net purchase is. And let's go down here and look at the cost of goods sold. So we got our beginning inventory and we have our net purchases that we got up here. That, and you add those two together and you get your goods available for sale. Then you subtract out your ending inventory from the goods available for sale and you get your cost of goods sold. Now one other thing we want to look at here is our gross profit. So there we have our net sales which we figured up here at the top and we know what our cost of goods sold are. That's here. And then we subtract the cost of goods sold from the net sales and we get the gross profit. Okay. There's one other section we want to look at here and that's our operating expenses. Well there are many, I just summarized them here some categories. So we got sales and marketing, general administrative, research and development. Oh, there'd be other uh, expenses here would be numerous. So we add all those together and we subtract them from the gross profit and we come up with the net income. So this is just an overview of an income statement for a merchandising company or company that's selling goods and kind of gives you a little guideline and a little reference of, where, of what that income statement is.